I hugged my sister goodbye, minutes later she was hit by Sophie Wessex's motorcade. Helen Holland's sister Dorothy Phillips said the pair had lunch together and shared a loving hug before the woman was hit by a police motorcade escorting Sophie Wessex last month. The sister of a woman who was tragically killed after being hit by a motorcycle that was part of Sophie Wessex's police escort has said the pair had hugged goodbye just minutes before the tragedy. Dorothy Phillips had lunch with her sister Helen Holland, 81, on May 10 to celebrate her upcoming 89th birthday. And when Ms. Holland was leaving her sister's home, they shared a loving hug that Ms. Phillips said she will never forget. Tragically, just minutes later, at 3.20 p.m., the woman was hit at a pedestrian crossing by a police motorcade escorting the Duchess of Edinburgh along West Cromwell Road in southwest London. The woman fought for her life for two weeks before passing away. Recalling the last time she hugged her sister, Ms. Phillips told the Sunday Times, we did have a hug, and that's awful for me because I feel if we hadn't had a hug maybe she'd be alive, but then I wouldn't know. It was very, very loving, goodbye. I'll never forget. She added, it was pretty rare because our side of the family was not a huggy one, so it was a lovely thing to happen really. She was looking round the room as if she was taking it all in again. The three hours that we spent together were a beautiful three hours. Ms. Phillips, who has lived in her flat in Earl's Court, near the busy A4, for 45 years, said she was not aware of the incident until a few hours later, when she called to check whether her sister had made it to her home in Berchanger, Essex. The heartbroken woman said, she was lying in the road, bleeding. Dot dot. And I knew nothing about it. She said her sister was, perfectly mobile and fit, and both of them had always been careful at the crossing as it can be dangerous. After the tragic crash, an eyewitness said Ms. Holland was thrown 40 feet across the road. Announcing her death, her son said the woman fought for her life for nearly two weeks. But irreversible damage to her brain finally ended the battle. She sustained multiple broken bones and massive internal injuries after being hit while using the safe route of a pedestrian crossing, he added.